I believe in America. America has made my fortune. And I wear my suits in American fashion. Fashion has given me my freedom and I will stay loyal to my brand. I will never dishonor our haberdashery. I will keep it close to me. I believe in America and for my family and for my life. Dandor Set, I want to thank you for helping organize this meeting here today. And also, the other heads of the five haberdasheries, New York City, we have Don Datsanetti, and from New Jersey, we have uh, Don Calhoun, and from the Bronx, we have Don Cazzini, and also, we have with us, from Staten Island, Don Smittengali, and all the other associates who have traveled as far as California and Kansas City. Thank you. How did we ever get so far? I don't know. It's all been so unfortunate and so beyond our control. Calhoun lost a store, and I lost a store. And employees have quit. But if we can go about doing business as it was before, then I can come to some reason. We're all grateful to Don Jaime for calling this meeting. We know him as a man of his word, a modest man who will always listen to the voice of reason. Yes, Don Dorset. He's got all the customers in his back pockets, and he won't share them. When have I ever refused an accommodation? All of you know me here. When have I ever refused to help a customer, except for one time? That's because I believe this online business is going to destroy us in years to come. I mean, it's not like the ready-made suit business, or the custom garment business, or the liquor or the gambling. Times have changed. It's not like the old days. You can stock the store with whatever you want. A refusal of a sale is not the act of a true salesman. If Don Jaime has all the customers in St. Paul, he has to share. He has let us draw from the water of the well. Certainly, he can provide us with a receipt of such sales. After all, we are all capitalists. <laughs> I also do not believe in this kind of selling. For years, I would pay my associates extra so they would not do these kind of sales. I also don't believe in this. Someone comes to us and says, I have two, three thousand dollars. We could make fifty selling custom. We can't resist. We want to control the business. We must sell direct to our customers to keep our suits respectable. In our city, we will keep our sales respectable. We will not go online. If the others want to sell online, let them lose the soles of their shoes. I had hoped that, uh, that we could come here and reason together. And as a reasonable man, I'm willing to do whatever is necessary to find a profitable solution to doing business online. Then we all agree. Online sales will be permitted and controlled. And Don Jaime will control all the sales on the floor and we will be profitable. But I must have strict assurance 
from Don Jaime that as time goes on and sales increase, he will not attempt product sales online. Look, we're all reasonable men here. We don't need any assurance, as if we're clerks. You talk assurances? Our assurances gonna bring our stores back? I took all the businesses from the store, huh? Well, I have selfish reasons. I had this store long before any of you had stores. And because of this online business, now I gotta find a way to bring business back into the store. Forget about the false pop-ups, huh? They're pimps. But I'm a superstitious man. And if some unlucky sales should befall the store, or we should have a going out of business sale or some sort of liquidation, well then I'm gonna blame some of you people here in this room, and that I do not forgive. But with that said, just let me say, well, they swear on the soles of my wingtip shoes that I will not be the one to break the promise here today. 